Hi there. So today we're talking about three things that you should probably consider when deciding if a cheat meal is going to be productive for you. I'm Stacy Portugal. I help women over 40 figure it out, get the results they deserve on the scale, lose that weight, gain confidence, and also feel in control of their appetite, their moods, their life. So today we're kind of diving into cheat meals. So I wanted to quickly share my experience. Um, many years ago, I'd say probably five years ago, I was experimenting with cheat meals. And of course, we all have to kind of define what we mean by a cheat meal. For me, it was a once a week meal that I would just order whatever I wanted and just enjoy it. Um, and what I found was that it was consistently taking me off plan and I was sort of having to catch up each week as a result of that one cheat meal once a week. So here are three things to consider about cheat meals and whether they would be right for you and also how to really design them. The first thing that you should consider is what is your goal? Are you um, still trying to lose weight? Are you at maintenance? Do you have a health goal? Um, how will a cheat meal affect your goal? So it's something you really need to think about. And as I said before, we have to kind of define a cheat meal and what we really mean by that. When I was doing it once a week, in retrospect, it was just too often. So that was me. That was my experience. So you have to think about how a cheat meal is actually going to affect your goals. And here's another thing, thinking about your goals and gaining clarity on your values. So really thinking to yourself, well, what have I learned? Uh, what am I really you know, what's my takeaway after I've lost the weight or I've achieved the health goal? Um, what is my takeaway? If my takeaway is that I'm easily triggered, I, I'd say a, a, a frequent cheat meal as often as once a week is probably not a great idea, but it's something for you to think about. So thinking about what your goal is and how the cheat meal will affect your goal Number two is just gaining clarity on your values, thinking about what you've learned and, you know, how does your takeaway, you know, how have your values changed as a result of whatever goal you may have accomplished or wherever you're at? And is having a cheat meal really in line now with your goals? And the third thing that you should think about, and this is the biggest thing, is why do you want that cheat meal? Because here's the thing, a cheat meal could just be a way for you to be giving into cravings on a regular basis and essentially just sabotaging yourself. Um, or are you feeling deprived? And is there another way without taking yourself too far off plan every single week, is there another way for you to feel a little bit more satisfied? Maybe you're physically hungry. Maybe it's more of an emotional deprivation. Um, or are you just trying to like create a more flexible lifestyle? And that could be a very good reason for a cheat meal. Maybe you're in maintenance mode and you're like, hey, I don't want to have such a narrow variety. I really want to be able to feel like I can eat what I want, but just kind of put, you know, a limit on it. So that's something to think about. And here's one other thing that relates to that, that you should really consider. Are you flexing? That's something my kids would say. And what I mean by that is when we're fortunate enough to have reached a weight loss or a health goal, more than likely we have learned something and we have demonstrated some level of restraint. 
Maybe you've gotten a hold of your cravings because you're eating a lower carb diet. Um, maybe you um, realize that in certain situations, you know, you tend to go a little overboard, like at parties or in restaurants. So the question is, are you really flexing? Are you really building that muscle of willpower that reflects what you've learned in your journey? Or are you using cheat meals as kind of an excuse to just give in to the cravings and, you know, by, you know, not really have a way of continuing to build that muscle? Because if you are giving in to cravings on a regular basis, chances are you are going to fail at some point. So, my advice after you've considered these three things about cheat meals is really thinking about what your objective is, really thinking about what you've learned about where you tend to fall off plan, and is there a way to accomplish this objective, whatever that objective is, whether it's more flexible eating, feeling deprived, or having a cheat meal because you just you know, feel like, hey, you just want to have fun once a week. Is there another way of accomplishing that goal without sabotaging yourself? So just a few things to think about today about cheat meals and if they might really work for you. So I hope that was helpful. I really want to hear what's on your mind. Remember that our community begins in the comments. So let me know what you think. Have you ever tried doing cheat meals? And what would you suggest? What worked well for you? And where did it not work for you? Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.